is just about a week away, and we're getting ready to celebrate with some spooky treats and some Ooh. eerie snacks. And adorable, by the way. So Thank Chef you. Jamie Gwen is here. She's going to tell us all about her frighteningly good spread. Thank you for being here, first of all. Thank you for having me back. I'm very glad to celebrate Halloween with yes. both of you and with KTLA, of course. And it is spooky good, so check it out. If you're throwing a party for kids and adults alike, this stuff is scary good eats that will please a crowd. I like First it. and foremost, you're going to take your favorite meatball recipe. I posted one at KTLA.com for you. Okay. You're going to take a tube of crescent roll dough, cut thin strips, and wrap them so that you get a mummy meatball. Oh, very The meatballs cute. can be store-bought or homemade. And of course, they go in your air fryer for about seven or eight minutes. And you get quick that- Quick and easy. Yeah, quick and easy, quick crust, essentially bloody red sauce. Great starter for Halloween night, right? And then are Super those eyeballs, fun. can you buy them just as is? They're candy Super eyeballs, candy yes. Candy eyeballs. It's edible. Ed, totally edible. Sure. And uh, best to adhere them with a little bit of frosting. So I know, sweet, savory. It is a sugar holiday, sure. right? Yeah. It's, it's, more the, it's more the look. Yeah. You know, the it's look, the you gotta achieve the look. Right, yeah. definitely. And then some pumpkin hummus. Okay, so everybody loves hummus. If you've never yeah. added pumpkin, canned pumpkin specifically, buy the pure pumpkin from Ralph's. Uh, I happen to think the flavor is fabulous. Uh, it is an incredible flavor enhancement to hummus. You can make your own or add pumpkin to a store bought. And then I put out fingers for dipping, guys. So cut your red oh, bell yeah, pepper and your cucumber and so on so that you can, yeah, go can for it. Can yes, go? please. Okay. Here, okay. should Great. we hand one to yeah. Pedro there? Yeah, mm -hmm. let me get it. All right, I'll pass it along. And one of the things I find Probably Got the it. most creepy of all. Yes. These hands. <laughs> Tell us how you made those, because that's hey, impressive. Everybody loves this. This is handy what I call, pie. yeah, this mm -hmm. is a very handy chicken pot pie recipe, Delicious. right? So it's the mm. base of chicken pot pie. I suggest you put it in a cauldron, and then you put these bloody- A cauldron. A it's cauldron. not a pot. It's a no, it's not a pot. It's a cauldron. Uh, you put these bloody puff pastry hands alongside, and everyone can serve themselves, right? So just small vessels, individual portions, uh, nice and hearty and delicious and warm for this season. But if that isn't too fun, you're going to use a, a hand cookie mm. cutter, right? And you're going to use red gel food coloring because it permeates that pastry just perfect. Yeah. And I just bake them up simple from store-bought puff pastry. Oh my gosh, where too can you buy like this, this kind of a gel? A at any craft store and even at the supermarket. Okay. Now. Yeah, oh, right. at Ralph's, they sell it. This is something that I think would be really fun to make with kids. Yeah, if you have kids at home that want to make something fun and it's adorable and it colorful. Is. It's a great thing to do and you can choose your favorite colors, whatever sparks your Halloween fantasy. These are candy melts, actually and you can melt them in the oven. Mm. Very, very low temp, about 150 degrees. I add a spoonful of shortening to keep it loose mm. and so that it melts. Then you actually just wave the colors together. Oh, you like it, right? So you melt it and then you put shortening in? Yeah, uh, yes, and you're gonna, okay. melt? you could melt it with the shortening if you want, but oh, okay. it melts on the cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna swirl the colors together, finish with your favorite spooky, sprinkles, right? These so have cute. eyeballs in them, I love it. And then once you've got that bark laid out, you're just gonna break it up. Check this out. Just Can we like help you that. break it? Yeah, oh please. That looks fun. Have a good time. Okay. Yeah. I Tell even pack this in little bags, by the way, just as a party favor. So cute. This is really fun. These are okay. perfect, especially I like how you have them in these little these popcorn containers. Right? Okay, so this is the ultimate snack mix. Ugh. It is a pumpkin pie spice caramel corn party mix, I call it. But doesn't it taste sweet, savory yeah, almost? Absolutely. Kind of, like I, I think it's delicious. And it has pumpkin pie spice in it, so it tastes of the season, and it's a great thing to put a whole bowl Ooh. of out. Oh, you Look got your own are. tray, Lauren. <laughs> no, you, you really, I'm that a child, was beautifully I'm done. I love how you devised <laughs> that. Um, these are really cool, guys, and really fun to do with kids. In fact, I got my son involved. Thank you to Melissa's Produce, by Look the way. Those apples. Right? Who those provides the biggest Honeycrisp apples ever. But you're going to slice them into about half-inch thick slices, and you're going to skewer them on a popsicle stick like that. And then you're going to dip them in either milk, dark, or white chocolate as you like and then decorate them. Now, Super this is my cute. excuse, yeah, for very, oh, and I did gummy worms so and sprinkles for a very uh, guilt-free dessert. Are you a gummy gummy guy? I am. My I like son is becoming stuff. a gummy guy. I I'm love classic, it too. Classic guy. And then last oh. but not least, if you have an extra Halloween pumpkin that you haven't yet carved, oh. I say tap it. <gasps> 
Oh because my gosh, this is adorable. Isn't that so cool, yes. right? You can find a spigot or a spout like that at your local hardware store. Mm -hmm. And what's genius about it is that you can fill it with just about anything. So I fill it with apple cider. Yeah. And then you need to just set it up on a riser or a stand. Put your cups all around it. Can we see the fill mechanics it as inside? you like? How does that, do you and have to line it. it with anything? No, you no. can actually just scrape it clean like you would a jack-o-lantern mm -hmm. and then fill it up and then tap it out. That's Pretty fun, right? That's awesome. Can I have I this? I love this. <laughs> I want. I can't candy? wait to I'm try it. I'm one of those guys. Corn I guy? love candy corn, corn my entire yeah, life growing up. Tell me how it is. I love that you love it. Oh my god. Well, check out this full screen. Spectacular, right? For more and information, you can go to Chef Healthy. Jamie. Yeah. Follow her on social media. You get a lot of the apples. Chef Jamie. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good balance. Of guys, favorite. we're busy. We're. No, you know what? Because it's so hard to eat a candied apple when it's whole. Yeah, and slices. You could drizzle with caramel, and then you'd really get the candy apple experience. Right. Thank you, Ralph's Grocery. Thank you, Melissa. This is great. Truly grateful. Thank you. Chef Jamie Gwen. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Party Mix. For feeding us. Uh-huh. More after the break.